Welcome back to Camp Lagoons, and we've got another brand new board game called Code Names. So it's a very simple game to learn, but it's very hard to master. The two spy masters utilize their their wits to try and pass undetectable codes to their teammates with the aim of ensuring their teammates discover their corresponding team spies and extract them in time before the secret organization they send an assassin out catches up to them. So will your teams be rookie spies? Will they be eliminated? Will you ever become the spy master? Let's find out and it's how to play. Welcome to Codenames. So the aim of the game is for the spy masters, one for each team, to get their other teammates to find these agents in the code in the middle. So you've got the blue team, the red team, the bystanders and the assassin which we do not want to get this card here is the spy master card uh, it gives the indication of the agents corresponding agents and the assassin so the one spy master for each team may look at this you see the red team has star doctor and needle So the assassin is in the roulette code, and you do not, want, or both teams do not want to find the spy, for that will result in an instant fail, and the other team win automatically. So the spy master cards, the uh, lights on the side indicate which team goes first based on the orientation. The orientation can be any way you want. I'm going to start this way for how to play. The timer is there um, for optional rule if people want to speed up the game or the guesses. So the blue team has seen Needle and Doctor and is going to make a clue which is Medical 2. So you're allowed a one word clue and then the number of agents you have to find. Uh, you can also see there's high at the bottom second row so the first place the team is going to guess is a doctor correctly and they're debating whether it's needle or heart and they're unsure so the team debates and says heart which is wrong and it's a bystander during this time the spy master cannot has to keep a straight face and cannot give any clues to where the cards may be located so the blue team's going now. Um, they're looking where they're based. And then they're going to look and see what relates. So there's not a huge amount on the board that it relates to. So you're going to go check again. And you've got Horn and Spring. So it's a little bit of a tough clue. But they're going to go for Car. As, as in Car Horn and Suspension Spring. So then the blue team guesses. They debate and guess with the optional timer if they're allowed. So they've correctly guessed car horn. That makes sense. And then with the blue team's car too, they know there's one more agent. So they're going to guess hmm, car spring. So since they've got the two guesses correctly, or the numbers correctly, they're allowed a free optional guess without a clue. So they get no more clues. They can rely on previous clues that they might have got wrong before, but they have no clues for the current round. But it is a free guess, and they don't have to take it, but you're allowed to. So they're going to go and guess Moon. And they are correct. As you're only allowed one optional guess, the play moves on to the other team. And play carries on like this until all the agents are found, or one of the team finds the assassin. So there are some rules to the clues. Um, you have to provide the meaning of the word. Um, you cannot indicate the location with a letter. Um, so you can't say 
T4 indicate in tube? Um, that's an invalid clue. You, if you have compound words, such as horseshoe, there's none on the board, but then you can't have a clue like horse or shoe. And you also, so you can't have different forms of the same word as well. So you've got block, so you can't have blocked, um, and there's wake there, so you can't have woke, woken, etc. If any of the clues are considered invalid by the other spy master, then the spy master is allowed to call an invalid clue given a free guess to their team. However, if an invalid clue is not discovered, you continue play as normal in order to keep the flow of the game. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on the rules as your spy master. So the way this game works best is having six people. That's because there is three on each side and one person from each team is the spy master who can see this um, indication in this grid to, that tells them where the agents are. So your other team members do not get to see this card but they do get to guess based on your clues. So they can debate, they can talk, um, you're not allowed to confess with a spy master but they're allowed to confess with each other and they're allowed to rely on the clues from other people. And that is the game. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe if you are subscribed. Click the bell button to get notified of upcoming videos. And keep updated on our Facebook and Twitter pages. We'll see you next time. Bye.